Hi guys, it's Miss Miniature. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a, another speed build. This is also a smaller home, although not a tiny home. This is the home I'm going to be using for my 100 baby challenge. Uh, this is the day before the family pack comes out, or yeah, family pack. So I probably will change a couple things on the inside if it comes with items that I like. But right now, this is what I'm planning to use. I don't really plan to change a whole lot of it. Maybe just a couple items. But our layout's going to be pretty well the same. It's small and cramped and everything you would want in a cute little starter. But probably not really what you want if you plan to produce 100 babies. <laughs> so obviously, as the challenge goes on, this home will either be updated or just completely redone. Uh, depending how much money my uh, my sim makes, which probably won't be a whole lot because she's not able to work ever. And once you have a whole lot of babies, it's really hard to paint because you're tired and you have to look after all the children. And yeah, it can get a, a little frustrating. I love hate this challenge. I have played it before and you get to a point where you have four children and two babies and a toddler and you're very frustrated because you're trying to get your children to do well in school so that they can age up so that they can be teenagers so they can at least help with the children but yeah it's just frustrating and of course on this particular save that I'm referring to I was in a, an apartment in San Mashuno, the one with the um the house trait that gave you more of a chance for twins so I had had two sets of twins and a set of triplets or something like that or anyway it was just far too many children and I was like I had just started I was like why did I pick this trait like why did I move into this house there's this is just too many babies but um I'm more prepared this time I'm not going to use that trait because I mean it does say in the rules that you can but you just can't switch the traits so Yes, I could complete it faster, but I think I would rip out all my hair and abandon it and be like, no, I just can't deal with that. But other than that, I am, it's a love-hate relationship with this challenge, and I'm really excited to start it. So, uh, obviously, you can see this is a small toddler's room, or kid's room, I guess I could change it to eventually. Obviously... As the challenge goes on, there's not going to be any decorations or anything in this room. It's just going to be beds for toddlers to sleep on. And uh, that's all. It, the house will slowly get less and less fancy the more children that arrive. But if you wanted to download this home from the gallery and use it as like a normal home with a small family or a single parent, then this would be a great little house. It is uh, starter funds, so yeah. But if you're like me and you want to attempt the 100 baby challenge, maybe this isn't the best house. Maybe you just want a house with an empty room that you can fill with toddler beds. I don't know. But I did want to start it with some semblance of like a home, not just empty rooms with beds. So that's why I built this little house and I made it bright and colorful because that's the kind of mood I was in, I guess. And well, the bathroom, I made it that way because I wanted to match the walls to the mat. And that's why it was colorful. And then I was like, eh, might as well make the rest of it relatively colorful. So yeah, we are almost coming to the end. So thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you check out the 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, you can watch me freak out and be stressed. It'll be fun. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye.